gently ask you to look at my genius. It rises in my head, in my ass, and it rolls down my hips to my thick ass thighs. It kisses my calves and it moves me to motivation. All I need for you to do is look at my genius. It rolls off my lips like candy. My eyes spy every part of it in anything that I touch. My hands create it through any way it could possibly get through to you. I am asking you to please require my genius. It is worth Trillions of dollars, cents, and time. It is sometimes the frozen because you refuse to see past anything that has given you an idea of what negativity could be. And fuck you, you will get my genius. I will hand it out on a silver platter. And once you taste it, it will be delicious, delectable. It will create you to be an insatiable being. Because it is simply my genius. It is something you can never take away. It was given to me. It is mine. And it could never be yours. I just made that shit up, y'all. I just made that shit up. I just made it up. Oh, I don't know. But I meant it too. That shit is for real. Like, I actually meant that shit. Like, it just came out. Y'all see what I'm saying? I be fucked up. That's why I be thinking I'm fucked up. This is why I think I'm crazy. This is why. This is why I know I'm crazy. Because I went crazy already, but this is all the time. This is why I know I'm crazy. This is how. That's how. I like that shit. That shit was kind of dope. That shit was kind of dope. That shit was kind of dope. Anyway, that's all I know. That's all. Why is that the only slang term I use? I do not use hella. I was pissed when somebody came to my school and was like, kiddos. Call them kids. They are children. Call them children. I was pissed, man. Kiddos. I hate that fucking word, kiddos. Get your ass the fuck away from me. Um, oh God, I hated that. I was like, what the fuck? Um, I wish I knew slang. You know, like I wish I really spoke it, but I just don't. But then I heard an idiot speak it. I was like, oh fuck. I know I told y'all about the one day when I was talking to this, and he's like, yeah. This white guy, I had to put her ass on her, her the fuck up out of there. Cause I, I was like, I don't, I'm sorry. I don't know if she's in an abusive situation or not because I don't speak slang. Like, I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Like, I have no fucking clue. He could have really been like shooting her up, beating her ass. I would have known nothing. I can't say I know SOS cause I don't know. I ain't know what the fuck he was talking about. I had no fucking clue. I'm like, this motherfucker crazy. <laughs> he done lost his rabbit ass mind. Y'all, my son told me that one day, Mama, you done lost your rabbit ass. I was like, where you get that from? Oh my God, that shit is crazy. He lost his rabbit ass mind. That man had me out there weekend in the morning. I'm like, I don't know. I don't understand the fuck. I don't understand you, motherfucker. Oh my God, shit, man. I'm <laughs> I don't speak no fucking slang. I don't know shit you talk about. What set you claim? It's <laughs> like that's all. That's all I can say. <laughs> what set you claiming? You dope. That's it. I ain't, and I ain't finna tell everybody they dope. I can't tell everybody they dope. Man, that man's like. <laughs> Oh my God! I should just what set you claim it? I I don't. That's all I know, and I don't even think that's good. I think that's gang language. I what if somebody uh, like I just 
<laughs> Think about that shit. Like a black person in a fucking situation where this person no more slang than they do, right? And, they, and it's your life, right? It's like, but what set you like? I don't have no comment. I don't know. I would have to actually take out the urban fucking dictionary and go through that motherfucker to see what they talking about. <laughs> like, you don't have to be straight up translated for me because I don't know no fucking slang. Like, it is like, I am not a slang type person. I'm just not. I have never been. I mean, it's just like, for real, all I say is dope. You dope. That's it. All I know is vocabulary. Like, I know beautiful, gorgeous, you know what I'm saying? Handsome. I know vocabulary. Like, I know actual words. But slang, Ebonics. Okay, no, I speak Ebonics. But I'm because I am black. But what I'm saying is, like, I don't know slang. I don't know it. I just don't. That's why I was like, what the fuck is he talking about? Like, I don't know <laughs> that you was saying. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I have no clue of what the fuck you saying. So it's amazing to me when people of other cultures know it better than me. I'm just like, okay. Because that means that they actually spent time to learn. And I mean, I guess that's a geek type of thing. That's a geek situation, you know, because you know a lot. And you have like, you feel like you delved a lot into what, what black people are in our culture, stuff like that. But I'm like, I don't know. Okay, y'all, let's talk about this Kim Kardashian glam picture. I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know how to feel because I just don't know how to feel. I don't. It it has not. I don't know how to feel. I don't appropriate other people's like, okay, I like Asian art, but I don't want to dress up as an Asian. So it's like that that that's all I feel. It's like I like it doesn't it doesn't uh some things don't affect me. And I think it's because I don't have that um, jealousy tinge. I don't know. I, I don't know why it doesn't bother me. I don't, especially with me being a such a, a black person. Like, I'm such a black, black. I'm just a black woman. It's like, I like, what captures me is a real black woman being beautiful. You see what I'm saying? Like, if she was um, Diane Carroll or Donna Summers, I would have, like, I would have lost it. If she was Curvaceous Boutique, the woman, that, I would have lost it. You hear me? Um, if she was June Ambrose, I would have lost it. Like, I would have went fucking crazy. It's just some things don't do not do anything for me like that. Like, it does not, um, it just doesn't, it doesn't affect me. Either way, I'm not mad at her, but I'm not wowed by it either. Like, it's none of it that wows me. Like, when when she did the whole Pearl thing, I was kind of... That pissed me off a little bit because I'm a big fan of Lil' Kim. And uh, butt naked, dressed in number pearls. And it's like, I would just want to um, see a black woman in all that. Because the skin color and the pearl juxtaposition. So, it's not always about the body and the ass. It's about the color of the skin. And so, I would love to see a dark, dark woman, butt naked, dressed in number pearls. That shit is gorgeous to me. So, for me, I guess what it is, it's an art thing. And that's all it boils down to. It's an art thing and it's a shape thing. I don't... I'm just not attracted to it. You know what I'm saying? I don't think about her culture, which I'm always on her side because I do. Like, I, I feel like it's a, if she's an ally, she's an ally. Like, don't be pissed off. But what it is, is I don't understand why we upset about it in the first... Why I talk about it in the first place. I'm giving it time just because I I just seen Amanda Seals um thing or whatever. But it's like even with her, Amanda Seals herself is a lighter woman. She's gonna get more parts and different things like that than other people too. She's gonna get even though she is a black woman, right? I mean, she is. Um, and but she's also from another country. So then people think about that stuff too. So it's like everybody is in the category of um, where somebody could piss them off or pe- be pissed off with it. So that's all it is. It's like, I don't have an opinion about it. I thought the picture was gorgeous. I didn't know it was her. Um, I do. Cause now when I was younger, she, I mean, for real, I have been known to say too, like, I, I didn't like when black men dated white women because it, they were taking money from my community. Um, uh, I used to say that 
now I'm just like, I don't care. The older I get, the more it's like, mm, okay, whatever. Like, it's okay. Like, I don't care. Um, they say mimicry is the best, um, mimicking is the best form of flattery. Now that I've been mimicked, I don't give a fuck. Do not, I don't want to be flattered by you, by you. It's just something I don't want. And I don't want, um, and, and I have different goals than people. Now, when I started to go off about the white people and what they want is because they were following me and taking stuff from me. Um, also, I'm not making money. Like, y'all, it's like people follow me and I'm not, what am I getting from you following me? Or you taking my style or you taking my ideas or whatever. So, yeah, I didn't, I don't know that. The booty yoga girl, I'm doing dances in the car. We end up doing them in booty yoga. Stuff like that, like, I don't, like, stop trying to be me. Be you. Do you. Do you. Do you, baby. Do you, baby. Do what you feel. Don't look at me and then try to, like, figure out what to do from what I'm doing. No, don't do that. And then not give me credit for it. Make a video of yourself and not give me credit for it. I didn't ask you to do that. So some of this stuff I was just, like, I was so pissed off. Um, Lighter-skinned women, too. Like, I was in class. This girl, she lighter than me. She and her... um, and thinner, right? She, you know, doing a yoga. I guess she wanted to like mimic how I was doing it, but I don't like, it's like, this is the thing I do everything for myself. So that's a difference. I do these things. Like I like the way when my hips move a certain way, don't put me in front of fucking mirror. It's fucking up. Don't let me see my shadow, bitch. It's over. So it's like, that's the difference. So I'm in a class with people who have all their attention on me, but I have my attention on me. You see what I'm saying? It's like, I'm not worried about the bitch next to me. I'm not worried about if I can hit the position or not. I'm worried about how my hips look in the mirror, how my ass look. But that's been my life. Like, anybody going to tell you, don't don't grind up on, like, nigga, get the fuck off me. This ain't about you. Nick, this ain't about you. Give me the mirror. This is about me. It's about me. Like, you know, and I I mean, I don't know. Some people could be seeing that as selfish. Fuck you. I be like, yeah, this hip is going to move, bitch. You hear me? This hip finna move. This hip finna pop the fuck out. I don't know how y'all feel about y'all body. That's the difference, right? I think that's what's making, I don't know if that's the difference in anybody. It's just, I love my body. I love the way it moves. I have loved it for a long time. And so it's like, I just, that's the shit I like. You know, I'm like, look at your ass, bitch. Look at that ass. Look at yourself. And I like people who admire themselves when they doing stuff too. I do. It is attractive to me. It is a fucking turn on. Watch a motherfucker watch they self do something. I'm telling you, that shit is a turn. Like, it's like, if they into it, that shit is a fucking turn on. It is like, do you understand what I do to you right now? Do you know what I do to you right now? You know, because I ain't focused on that. So, if you ever been in a situation, whether it be whatever kind of woman, and they looking at you to 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 try to do better on you than you or come for you or whatever, guess what? You really, it's like you don't care. Like, that's why I don't, it's like I just don't have an issue with it. You know, I don't. I don't because I feel like can't nobody do it better than a black woman. That's it. Like, I can't. Like, it's like, for me... The visuals that I want to see, can't nobody do it better than a black woman. It's just like I saw this, um, this, um, thing. It was like a, um, it was a, um, a ballerina, a picture of a ballerina, skin dark. You hear me? Dark. And I'm telling you, this dude could have did it better. That is the exact image that I have in my head of a ballerina. I don't have an image of this pink tutu shit. That's exactly what I had. That's why I was so happy when that girl came on. So you think you want to dance? And she did hip lit. Most gorgeous fucking thing I had ever seen in my life. That was the most beautiful thing that I ever seen in my life. I was so invigorated and happy. It ain't no other way for God to make me. So that's why it's like... I really don't get upset about other people and they other cultures and all that stuff until it starts to until they start to come for me. Now you come for me, that's a different thing. You see what I'm saying? Like it's that's a whole different fucking situation. Like in that class, in that booty class, they were coming for me. 
They was coming every week. They'll be over there looking at something and looking back at me, looking at something. I'm like, what the fuck these bitches doing? I'm just in here minding my fucking business. I'm just in here trying to get my work out, though, trying to get over trauma. These bitches create more trauma. So I'm just like.